today we will discuss a crucial topic in distributed systems vector clocks we will discuss how vector clocks will help in identifying dependencies between updates and detect conflicts in distributed systems hi there welcome to tech in career bites i'm a software professional with over two decades of experience including seven years in leadership roles at a global product based organization imagine you are working on a shared document with multiple people all editing simultaneously how does the system decide which changes to keep and in what order in distributed systems this scenario is quite common whether it is a document or a database when multiple nodes or users make updates at the same time conflicts are inevitable let's find out how vector clocks help in a previous video we talked about how crdt's handle conflicts in collaborative editing like in google docs crdt's rely on specialized data structures and algorithms to manage these conflicts one such data structure is vector clocks vector clock track changes and detect conflicts making collaborative editing a smoother experience first let's look at how traditional systems try to resolve conflicts a typical approach is to use time stamps the latest time stamp wins meaning the system just keeps the most recent change but here is the problem time stamps don't capture causality if two updates occur around the same time time stamps can't tell if one update depends on another this can lead to situations where a valid change gets overwritten just because it arrived slightly later let's understand this with an example imagine two users user a and user b simultaneously making changes to a shared document in a collaborative editing tool node 1 receives an edit from user a but due to a transient network issue it never receives the edit from user b node 2 first receives user a's edit followed shortly by user b's edit node 3 first receives user b's edit and then user a's edit that is in the reverse order if each node simply overwrote the document with the most recent edit it received the nodes could end up permanently inconsistent node 2 would have the document version with user b's paragraph as the final change node 1 might only have user a's title change node 3 would have a version that prioritizes user b's change over user a's leading to different document versions across nodes so how can we fix this that's where vector clocks come in a vector clock is a data structure used in distributed systems to capture the order and dependencies between events this allows systems to detect conflicts when updates are independent or concurrent but not to directly resolve them a vector clock is essentially a list of counters one for each node in the system each time a node performs an operation like an update it increments its corresponding counter when a nodes exchange information their vector clocks are compared and merged to track the order and dependencies of events in a collaborative editing application each document at each node has its own vector clock which helps to track updates from multiple users before diving into specific examples let's understand the concept of causality in distributed systems causality refers to the relationship between events where one event can be said to have caused or influenced another understanding this relationship is crucial for resolving conflicts in distributed systems it tells us whether an event should precede or follow another ensuring data consistency in distributed systems operations that are causally related should be treated differently from operations that are independent of each other or are concurrent vector clocks help track and represent this causality now that we understand causality let's explore examples where operations are causally related and where they are concurrent imagine 
user A makes an edit to a shared document adding a new section. Shortly after, user B updates the document, modifying the section added by user A. In this case, user B's update clearly builds upon the change made by user A. We can say that user A's edit happened before user B's edit because user B's change is causally dependent on user A's action. The second operation knows about and builds upon the first. Now consider another scenario where both user A and user B open the same document and start editing simultaneously without the knowledge of each other's actions. User A edits the document title while user B adds a new paragraph. Since these edits happen independently, neither user is aware of the other's change when they make their own. They are considered concurrent. There is no causal relationship between the two changes. Since traditional timestamps fail to accurately track the order of edits in a shared document, we rely on vector clocks. Let's understand how vector clocks work using a collaborative editing example. In a collaborative editing application, each document has its own vector clock, which helps track updates from multiple users. Edits at each node is tracked by a vector clock. When the nodes share updates, their vector clocks are merged, reflecting the latest state of each user's changes. For better understanding, consider this example. User A updates the title, incrementing their counter. User B adds a paragraph, incrementing their own counter. When these updates are exchanged, vector clocks help identify that both changes were independent, prompting a merge rather than an overwrite. This method ensures that all updates are preserved with conflicts handled gracefully, either by automatic merging or manual reconciliation when necessary. Now, let's explore how vector clocks manage causal and concurrent updates. If one operation happened before another, the vector clock will reflect this order. For example, user A makes the first edit. Both user B and user C have not made any updates. User B acknowledges user A's update and increments their own counter. User A's vector clock will have a lower or equal counter value compared to user B is updating the relevant component. This indicates that user B's action was aware of user A's earlier change. User C is aware of both A and B's updates and makes an independent edit and then increments their counter. User C's change happened after being aware of A's and B's updates. Dominance is a key concept in detecting causality with vector clocks. Let's explore what it means. In vector clocks, dominance refers to one vector clock being able to represent an earlier or dependent state of another. A vector clock dominates another if all the counters in the first vector clock are greater than or equal to the corresponding counters in the second vector clock, with at least one counter strictly greater. This indicates that the first update happened before or as part of the second update. If neither vector clock dominates the other, it means the updates are concurrent. That is, they happened independently and without knowledge of each other. In our earlier happens before relationship example, user B's vector clock dominates user A's, meaning User B's changes happened after being aware of user A's updates. In the case of concurrent updates, neither user A's vector clock nor B's will dominate the other. This lack of dominance means neither clock can be said to have occurred before the other, indicating they are truly concurrent. Consider this example for better understanding. In this case, all three users make edits 
without being aware of each other's changes, resulting in concurrent updates. User A makes an edit with no knowledge of B or C's edits. User B makes an independent edit concurrently with user A. User C also makes an independent edit concurrently with A and B. Here is a simple Java implementation of a vector clock. Each node maintains a vector clock, incrementing its counter with each change. When updates are shared, clocks are compared to detect concurrent changes. If two clocks don't dominate each other, a conflict is flagged. If two vector clocks are concurrent, that is, neither happened before the other, how are the conflicts resolved? To resolve conflicts due to concurrent updates, the system might prompt a manual resolution or keep both versions for further reconciliation. Some of the commonly used conflict resolution strategies are listed here. Vector clocks are not just theoretical, they are used in real world systems. Amazon DynamoDB employs a version of vector clocks to manage conflicts, and React. Another distributed database uses them for eventual consistency. Here is how DynamoDB leverages vector clocks. Each edit is tracked using a vector clock. DynamoDB's multi version concurrency control is inspired by vector clocks to handle simultaneous updates. When synchronizing, vector clocks are compared to see if one update is older, newer, or if they are concurrent. If conflicts arise, DynamoDB provides tools that allow developers to implement conflict resolution strategies like last right wins. Vector clocks are a powerful tool for tracking update sequences and detecting conflicts in distributed systems. While they don't resolve conflicts directly, they help systems understand dependencies and ensure data consistency. If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more interesting tech topics. Do check out our other videos on software performance optimization case studies, coding, system design, big data and career growth. My name is Rupa and I thank you so much for watching this video. See you next time.